what is crab mentality? Um, the answer to that is if you imagine a bucket and it's full of crabs, so crabs are all in there and the crabs are giving it this. Because they're all stacked up because there's so many in there, there could be a crab that's just about to get over the top there and fall out. The other crabs will grab it with pincers and pull it back down. That's crab mentality. Now, what does that actually mean? Well, for example, say somebody has the opportunity to move forward with their career or something and other people try and talk them out of it or other people, um, somebody may be able to get on in life where maybe so you heard something that's useful for them and you don't pass it on on purpose because you don't want them doing better than you. That's crab mentality. Um, the whole point is that you're trying to keep everybody at that level. Nobody is going to be better than anybody else. And crab mentality exists in many environments out there. Uh, it's not to be confused with, confused with factory mentality, which is something a little bit different in the sense that it's often a us v them scenario, um, which is like management v factory labor force, um, which often involves a lot of negativity around, well, they only look after themselves, yada, yada, yada. That's factory mentality. Um, the same as if anything's put forward, it's rejected by people on the factory floor, regardless if it was helpful or not, because it's seen as there's got to be some ulterior motive to it. That's all tied into factory mentality. Um, but yeah, crab mentality is basically you try to keep holding everybody back and basically like crabs in a bucket, as simple as that. Thank you for watching.